in unit 4 page 32 there is a part called uh, city life this lesson actually contains new amazing words to be used in our daily life and I'm sure you will you will like it you will like them so much okay let's start with this term okay bicycle lanes what are the bicycle lanes parts of a road that only bicycles are allowed to use like you see in the picture okay here we have two roads okay one for cars and one for bicycles okay this road that only bicycles are allowed to use okay uh, is called bicycle lane okay so again bicycle lanes bicycle lanes okay city dwellers city dwellers uh, people who live in a large towns they are called city dwellers city dwellers okay planners okay of course come from the uh, word plan planners planners people whose job is to plan the develop the development of a town they are called planners planners commuter who are the commuters commuter of course not the passengers okay don't say commuters means passengers no commuter commuters are people who always travel between work and home again commuter okay commuter is a person who always travels between his work and his home he's called commuter rush hour okay rush hour rush hour when there is a lot of traffic because people are traveling to or from work okay for example we say we, we, we say we can't go out okay uh, in in a rush hour why because there is a lot of traffic okay so again rush hour when there is a lot of traffic because people are traveling to or from work opportunities okay and the singular opportunity of course opportunities which means chances situations in which it's possible to do something okay congested okay this is amazing word it's an adjective called congested congest again congested okay congested means crowd crowded or full of traffic again congested means crowded or full of traffic so instead of using the word crowded all the time you can yes use congested okay and now you have exercise on page 32 okay pause the video try to answer it alone and then check the answers in front of you okay and actually I see these words are amazing words used uh, in your writing after that and you're speaking to enrich your language okay let's uh, check the answers and according to your homework okay a uh, workbook page 29 exercises four and three uh, sorry four and five and in the booklet page five thank you so much